Hey everybody, Scott Burnett here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about something that's very dear to me and very proud of and it's my Hackintosh setup. And the six reasons why I Hackintosh in 2020. And 2020, what a year. Whew. It's been it's been a wild one. But uh, anyway, I want to talk about this real quick. So y'all stay with us. <music> We're back and I hope everybody's doing well. Um, Hackintoshing in 2020, there is just a ton of people making Hackintosh. You can go on YouTube or, or on the internet itself and there's a ton of them and it's getting a little bit easier to do. Um, and one of the things, there's a whole team of people over at the Open Core um, desktop where they're, they're actually helping you out with the builds and everything. They, they tell you what hardware, what, what software, how to, how to all put it all together. But the reason I do it, and I've got six reasons, and I'm gonna go over those right now. Uh, number one, the cost of it. Uh, I have had several Macs in my day, and I, let me reach over here and grab this one. I actually have the first Mac I ever bought if I can get it. This is the first Mac I ever bought. I bought this in 2004. It was $550. Very soon after that, it was obsolete. Um, still works, this thing still runs by the way, but I can't put any updates on it or anything. It's just, um, it's just a memento now. But it always ran good up until I, I got rid of it, I started using something else. But um, anyway, this, uh, this computer behind me, $550. So the thing about it, I have owned several Macs in my time. I actually had a laptop that was well over $2,000 one time. Um, the thing about this, if that video card goes out, I can change it out. If that Wi-Fi card goes out, I can change it out. Motherboard, hard drive, power supply, the whole bit. If you go do that with an Apple computer, you're gonna have a harder time doing it. And a lot of times you have to take it back to the Genius Bar and let them do it. Uh, so I don't have to worry about the warranty thing. Uh, if I wanna upgrade this box, I can. I can put another motherboard in it. I can put another graphics card in it, hard drive. You know, whatever I want to do to this thing, I can do. As long as it's within the hardware that will work in a Hackintosh, I'm good. Uh, reason three, customizable. Yeah, as you can already see, I've already painted this case and put handles on it and I've put legs and I've modded the inside of the case. Um, and I made it what I wanted. This is what I wanted. And it didn't break the bank. Um, and my reason number four was if it breaks, I can fix it. You know, I know this machine, the inside and out. Um, you know, I can go to Micro Center, New Egg, uh, Amazon, whatever, and get parts for it. In just a few minutes, I can have it back running. Uh, number five, me being a nerd or a geek or whatever you want to call me, uh, I love tinkering with hardware and software. And, that, and that's actually my job that I go to every day is I deal with hardware and software and I write code and, and make things talk and work together. Um, and this is just, it's fun for me. I, I just enjoy it. Uh, number six, I can actually dual boot this thing and I can boot into Windows. I have another hard drive in. I have two hard drives. I can either boot into Mac OS or I can boot into Windows 10. I could have a third hard drive in it with Linux on it. And I probably could do that. I've got hard drives there. I could probably do it. Just hadn't yet. 
Um, that's a cool thing. When it boots up, I can boot right in the windows, and I'll show you that here in just a minute. Uh, the only, I say the only con, the only con for me is that it's it's hard to do software updates on it, the, the actual operating system. Um, but it can be done, it's just time consuming. Uh, it's, but if it's stable, and you don't have to, if it's not a serious security update or something, you just let it run, and it, and it runs i mean it's it's a screaming machine uh for what it is uh, and i'll talk about the specs on it uh, i'm running Cat mac os catalina 10.15.4 uh, this has an i5 8400 six core processor it, uh, it's 2.9 gigahertz and it turbos to 3.9 i have it on a msi h370n M bazooka motherboard it's a very good motherboard very stable it'll probably crash while i'm saying that um i got 16 gigs of ddr4 2400 ram i have a 256 gigabyte nvme times three the gen 3 drive and it's underneath the graphics card you can't see it very fast drive i mean it's extremely fast on the back side of the case i have 120 gig standard uh, 2.5 inch ssd and i'm running windows 10 on it i don't need a lot of space on it and i have a 16 terabyte nas up here in the cabinet where i do all my main storage at so i don't need a ton of storage on this box itself um i have a finvi 1200m wi-fi bluetooth card it's pci express got two antennas on the back there's a video right here that um, where I installed that. That is the best $45 I have ever spent. Um, I can use my Bluetooth keyboard, my AirPod, my AirPods, my phone connects to it, AirDrop continuity. Um, it's just like a real Mac. I mean, I, and I love that. I love taking a video on my phone and dropping it on the computer. That's the coolest thing. Uh, I have a Logitech Pro Mouse. Bluetooth works with three, uh, three different devices. My Magic Keyboard. Uh, I have a Radeon RX 560 graphics card in here. Uh, works natively with Mac OS. Great card. It's four gigabytes, but it works great with all my video rendering software and, and everything. And I have a, a big Intermax air cooler. It has heat pipes in it to keep it, the processor cool. And it runs very cool in here. I've, I've been very happy with it. And then I have an EVGA 550 watt power supply that I'm probably gonna change out for long with a modular supply. That means that you can plug out each cable that you need and you don't have a big wad of cables. Cause I still have a little bit of wad of cables down here. And I want to get rid of that, but uh, I mean it. And and what's cool about this, uh, we have VPN software that we VPN to work, so I can work on stuff. Runs perfectly on here. Uh, Microsoft Remote Desktop, I can remote into my machine at work and just do everything I need to do. Uh, if I want to boot into Windows and do the very same thing, I can. It's it's just. It is so neat. Let's see, what else did I have? I have a 24 inch Dell monitor and a 23 inch Dell monitor. Both of them are 1080, but, and they're VESA mounted. And I have an Amazon Basics um, monitor stand. Right now I just have Dell speakers, but I plan on putting a USB DAC in. It's a digital audio converter with some really nice studio speakers. Um, that's about it. Uh, I want to give a big shout out. There's a YouTuber. His his channel name is Technoly, and he does Hackintosh guides where he he'll actually build the machine. And uh, I followed his Coffee Lake, which this processor is a Coffee Lake processor from Intel. I followed his guide to the letter, and it was just so easy. Uh, and I learned a lot doing it. 
and I'll put a link to his channel down here and uh, the Open Core Desktop Guide. I'll put a link to it. Um, and the thing about it, when you start doing this, you're going to break stuff. But it's not to the point where you have to replace it or anything. You just start all over again, just breaking software. Um, it's just fun for me to do this. Anyway, I'll show you uh, booting into Windows, how it runs into Windows now. Alright, now here I am. I'm going to reboot this thing into Windows. You know, yes, I'd like to restart. I don't have a capture card on here, so it's hard for me to capture a reboot session. But I'll show you, it comes up with a little menu. It always does that for some reason. I didn't figure that out yet. Okay, there's my BIOS. Here's the the uh, menu for booting. I can boot from my 256 NVMe or my Windows. So I'll hit OK on that. And as you can see, I am booting into Windows. And it runs just as good as any machine I've ever had with Windows 10. So and I've had a lot of them. So, and there it is. It is booted into Windows. Everything works just like it's supposed to. Um, my webcam, all my Bluetooth stuff. Um, hey, there I am. Everything works on it. It's it's just awesome. Here I'm getting a whole bunch of YouTube notifications. Anyway, we get back to the video. All right, so that's just a quick video on my Hackintosh and why I Hackintosh. Uh, some people might say I'm cheap. You're right. Uh, I I hate spending a, a, a tremendous amount of money on a computer when I don't have to, and I didn't have to. And this this thing, I am really proud of it, and it, it just it just works. And I like the Mac operating system because, like I said, it just works and everything. So so anyway, hey, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Hit that little subscribe button down there and hit the hit the bell to be notified when I put a video out. Uh, I'm going to be doing some more fishing. I've been fishing a couple times in the last couple weeks and uh, not doing too well, as you can see by this video. Let's see what I got on here this morning. Got a little spotty bass. Got a ten foot rod and four pound line. This is this is a pretty good fight. Come in. Not a bad way to start the morning. Just catching little fish so but we're going to try to remedy that this week and uh if we can but i hope everybody's doing well appreciate all the subscriptions appreciate you watching the videos and uh, we'll end it right there you guys have a great evening and we'll see you on the next video thanks for watching